Welcome to the Hacksplaining video tutorial series. Some cross-site scripting attacks don't require server vulnerabilities. If you make use of URI fragments in your site, you need to ensure they cannot be abused to inject malicious JavaScript. As JavaScript frameworks have gotten more sophisticated, many developers are pushing logic to the client side. Correspondingly, the importance of knowing how to protect against vulnerabilities occurring in the browser have increased. Rich web applications often use URI fragments, the part of the URL after the hash sign. This has proven a convenient method of storing the user's location within a page in a way that keeps browser history readable, but does not cause extra round trips to the server. URI fragments are not sent with HTTP requests, so they need to be interpreted by client-side JavaScript. You should be careful that your treatment of URI fragments does not permit the injection of malicious JavaScript. Let's see how a site might be vulnerable to DOM-based XSS attacks. Our example website has infinite scroll. Content is loaded in dynamically as the page is scrolled down. Notice how the URI fragment is used to track the scroll location. This is done so that if a user navigates away from the site and then presses the back button, the site can reload their last location. However, there is a vulnerability in the way the URI fragment is interpreted by this site. The site updates the page number directly from the URI fragment without checking the contents. This means an attacker can construct a URL with malicious JavaScript in the URI fragment. And when somebody is tricked into visiting that URL, the JavaScript will be executed in their browser. Is your site vulnerable to DOM-based cross-site scripting? Click on the link to learn how to protect yourself, or move on to the next video.